I'll probably call this video a comprehensive explanation of Christianity or what I believe and why I believe it. Here's how I explained it to a Muslim friend who asked me about Christianity recently. <clears throat> Forgive me, the explanation is going to be long, but I did that on purpose because I believe in giving comprehensive explanations where necessary. This is one such case. Christianity is the belief that God is three persons and one God, or one God and three persons, however you wish to phrase it, that he was, is, and is to come. He has already created the world through the joint work of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and man messed up, not him, who the fall of humankind from perfection into sin, when Satan tempted Adam and Eve to consume fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They could have said no, but chose to give in and refused to repent when God asked them why they listened to Satan, blaming one another instead. Thus God banished them from the Garden of Eden where Adam and Eve lived, and God cursed the unrepentant serpent which Satan used to tempt Adam and Eve into sin. At that point, he prophesied of his own coming into the world as one of us to save humankind from their sins someday, which he did as Jesus many millennia later, or rather in the person of Jesus many millennia later. Genesis 1 through 3. Further, humankind fell into greater depravity until the great flood, at which point God saved the righteous man Noah and his family because they kept his law and sought his will for their lives. Otherwise, God destroyed unrepentant humankind through the flood. However, he promised Noah he would never destroy humankind through flooding again, since Noah and his family were righteous, God-fearing, respectful to God, and God-loving people. Genesis 4 through 8. As the centuries passed, many people, like Moses, Elijah, and King David, sought the Lord and waited for Jesus to come. As believing in the promised Messiah as part of keeping the God-given Jewish law was the way to salvation at that point in time. Eventually, then, Jesus came as one of us, born of a virgin, as the prophets proclaimed, Isaiah, Jeremiah, etc. As promised, then, in about 4 BC, four years before Christ, Jesus Christ, or God the Son himself, came as a human child, conceived in the womb of the Virgin Mary through the work of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 1 through 2, Luke 1 through 2, Mark 1, John 1. That is why we Christians, those of us who call Jesus Lord, say that Jesus was begotten, not made, in the Nicene Creed, which was written about 325 AD by the Catholic Church. The prophecy he spoke in the Garden of Eden was thus fulfilled in part as the promised Messiah had come. He had yet, however, to save humankind from their sins and provide the prophesied way to salvation through his sacrificial death on the cross in his human form, as he did so after the Jewish feast of Passover, as he came as a Jew and kept the Jewish law for the sake of the promise he made to the righteous man Abraham, which I am sure you will recall upon reading this message, as I know Jews esteem Abraham as righteous, excuse me, Muslims esteem Abraham as righteous. Keep in mind, I'm writing to a Muslim friend here, but I know that Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike esteem Abraham as righteous. Anyways, once he died on the cross, then, for supposed blasphemy in the eyes of the Pharisees and other non-believing Jews and Gentiles by claiming he was God, he fulfilled the second part of his prophecy in the Garden of Eden, Genesis 3:14 through 16 Once he did that, the third and final part of the prophecy was that he conquered death and sin by the Father's work of raising Jesus from the dead, so Jesus conquered death and sin by this resurrection. Therefore, we have only to believe in him by the work of the Holy Spirit, the third person of the triune God, since he promised us the Holy Spirit as our connection to him. And the Holy Spirit guarantees our salvation once we accept Jesus as Lord and believe in his death and resurrection, repenting for our sins. Now, this does not mean we will not sin, as humankind will be imperfect until Jesus comes again to take believers to heaven with him, as per the book of Revelation. However, we are saved from spiritual death and hell once and for all as Jesus, God the Son, died for us and took all the sin of the world on our behalf. That only he could do because he is, was, and always will be God and yet will always be a perfect human. Does that make sense? Let me know what you think by commenting on my video and I'm going to ask as I usually do, please do keep your comments clean. I'm sick of seeing vulgar comments on my videos and name calling and things like that because I find it conducive excuse me I don't find it conducive to clean respectful debate thank you very much and God bless you take care